Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. Uh, a bit showery now today. It's dry at the moment, but it's a bit showery as well at the same time. But um, yeah, look, have to get a bit of rain as well. Have to get it. What can we do? We had dry weather for long enough anyway, so. But it's good, growth is back to normal again, so everything seems to be okay. So today guys, I didn't do a video on Sunday because I was away for the weekend. I just sh shut down everything. I just, when I go away, I switch off everything and just, I don't do anything um, farming related. So, which is the proper thing to do. So, this video I want to, obviously as you can see, I'm spreading fertilizer. I'm spreading an NPK based fertilizer with some trace elements through it as well. There's sulfur, magnesium, zinc, copper, all and things are in it. So it's a pretty good fertilizer. Uh, I've spread it for a couple of years now, works well. And basically, um, fertilizer spreading, every farmer, look, we all know how to spread it. We, the pry, it's been a job that we've all done over the years, or been passed on, I suppose. I'll go kind of generation on this has been passed off from generation to generation how to do it. I learned the spread fertilizer, I said it before on the 43,000 we have. It's probably going back 15 years ago, I think it was 10, 16 years ago. So it was 10 when I my first bit of fertilizer. I was doing about 9 or 10. I think I, I think it was 10. I got my first bit on my own now. And uh, I've spread it ever since, really. So um, a big, bit of an upgrade from the 3000 now to be in, in this. But this is what I've got the fertilizer with now. And obviously the quad fertilizer spreader. I'll talk about that in a different video because I had some issues with that, but I have rectified now, thank God. So that seems to be okay. So I got I got a phone call one day and I got a message on it, Twitter from um, a company called Gypsy. I might, be, I might be pronouncing that right. Gypsy uh, Tractor Guidance Systems. That might be their proper name now. So apologize to the guys there, but they reached out to me and asked me that I want to try one of their systems. And I said, sure, no bother, sure, why not? Um, I never really, to me, I always thought GPS was more for the tillage man or for the bigger farmer, like, you know, I'm not. I'm not Relatively, relatively small farm. I, I would uh, in these times I would say I'm kind of a, an average farm. I suppose like probably less than average, really. Average now is a bit more, but in these times probably small farmer now. But I always thought it wasn't really available, or people didn't look at it when you were a small farmer. I ever thought about GPS, spreading for glass, like I said, up and down, keep out so much. We all know, I knew how to do it. We all, every farmer was brought up like that. But these guys said to me, we can do better. So I said, okay. So what they've given me is their, their tractor guidance system. And basically there's a receiver on the roof coming into this box here. And it's connected via Bluetooth. I have it onto a power bank here now, little's finest, <laughs> because this thing isn't, trustworthy to, to hold the power that's that cigarette lighter and basically it all comes back into this, uh, this tablet and now I have had this field done because to be totally honest I had a bit of trouble at the start getting it set up so that's why I have and I just kind of got I just kind of got sick of it being honest with it. I couldn't get it set up and I was it was there was a bit of rain coming so I was kind of in a hurry but it seems to start working now um not saying anything bad about the system just my own fault probably because I'm not totally used to it. So basically what, look, tractor GPS to me was always like, like, like I said, for a guy going out into a hundred acre field with tillage, spraying or whatever you want to be cultivating, whatever. And I also see the GPS, but like Valtra's own GPS or guys who are into tractors that know John Deere, Green Star. That's what I associate GPS with. I didn't associate GPS with any with anything else. Now I know Vantage do GPS. I didn't know that recent, in recent times, but I didn't really look into it. So they're trying to make it more. They're trying to make GPS more affordable to the average guy like myself, the average Joe So that wouldn't be great with technology, but would manage away. So that's how I'm going to put it. So 
I've had the feeling. Now this is going to be rough guys, it's not going to be perfect. Like I said, I'm still getting used to it. I'm not using it very often. I've only done a f two fields with it because obviously I'm spreading a lot on the land with the quad fertilizer spreader because it's all paddocks. And I have two fields to do today and I said I, I, and I just said I'd take out the tractor fertilizer spreader just for these two fields. Um, but apparently it can be put on the quad as well. So when I put it on the quad, I don't know, I might. So that's why it's out today. Possibly when I'm spreading for the second cut silage or for the third cut silage now and them bigger days with the fertilizer spreader, it will come in handy. But for now, we'll try it out. So obviously it's here. This is your layout, you can see that. And I have it set about 30 feet either side, so that's about what the bike from the spreader would be doing. There, there, about, that's only a rough average now, it might be less, it might be more. 30 feet is probably a bit extreme. But um, he wanted to give me like, he said, you're gonna be overlapping a bit, so we have to give a kind of a rough estimation now, 30, 30 feet for a bike and spreader. Fertilizer spreader is probably a bit excessive, but you know, it probably is close to that. So anyway, we'll give it a go. So, I was not far off it anyway. It's probably a bit extreme. So, and when I used this last time, I was going into the red all the time because it's hard. It's gonna take me a while to trust this, I think, because you have, as the guys said, and thanks to them for coming up and showing me, you have to trust the system and for me, it's the best fed fertilizer all my life. It's gonna be difficult. So, anyway, as far as I know, um, the 30 feet was with kind of between the tractor, including the tractor and either side. That was 30 feet. So, I'm not spreading 30 feet either side the one way and the other way. I think that was including the tractor in the middle. So I think we're going to start and we just turn the PPO on it. The manual is still there so I'm still getting used to it. And we go. See the green bit is me all along. And what it does is it sets it sets up a parallel line on the next row the two blue lines going up along so it'll tell me where to travel now I'm starting in the middle of the field which is a bit of a disaster but for advertising the system but um, it's all I feel like I've used for it it's big enough for the tractor to be going around and feels a bit too big for the quad for the spitter so you can see it's telling me to line up now I have to keep the arrow in the front of the tractor in the middle of the blue line, and you can see the red. I'm overlapping slightly, which is in here, which theoretically was always fine. But I'd give the, the arrow in the middle to get it 110%. So it does take a bit of getting used to. Now, in fairness, it's bang on what it's doing. It's 100%, and I'm allowing for a bit of an overlap. You can just see there. So, for some reason the blue turkey keeps going off. So, see the next blue line here now, it's telling me to line up with that. Obviously I'm not at the end yet because I started in the middle of the field. Like I said, I had a bit of trouble reconnecting it, so again, error, driver error, human error. Is it is a human error that caused the most problems? 95%. So, on there now and it's not a massive screen either it's not blinding you in the front of you right like some screens are massive rough part of the feet so obviously it's going way overlapping there now because I'm trying to keep out the the bales here and I probably am overlapping a nice bit there now on the, on the opposite run. So I'll just turn out now at the very end here. But it does work really well. I've done that two fields now already and it's worked very well. And they're, they're growing back very even. So, in 
fairness, I am very happy with it. It seems to work really well. It records the speed. It clocks all the. It clocks the acres. It says area covered. It clocks all the acres. It tells me how much I've applied. You can map the fields too. So what they told me to do is in some day is to go wrong with the quad in the system and map all the fields and it'll save all the fields then next time when you want to go we'll say this field is I don't know, field below bales or whatever you, t you can go into the menu get that field out and it'll have the, the exact acres and you, you can save the job from last time I can save this job now after and I know what I've done which makes it very simple so you can see, I can keep out, keep the, the tractor in the middle. I know it's not great now the, the sun's probably in us, but go a small bit and there we are. Now, as I said, the biggest thing with even for clouds for the setting is the size of the granules in this of the fertilizer. Obviously the bigger, the heavier, bigger granule is going to go further than the smaller, lighter one. Like, that might sound, that might sound, that might sound right, but the heavier granule, when it flings out the fertilizer better, it's going to travel further. There's the ways to carry it further, I think anyway. The lighter ones don't seem to go as far. My theory of it anyway. Might be, the, might be the other way around, that's how I seem to see it anyway. If you go out half, you can see them, they're way further. So, obviously we're laughing there now because I'm coming to the end of the field. I never thought I'd see a, a tablet on the front, a tablet on the windscreen of this tractor anyway. Definitely not. So, Now obviously it's just it's overlapping now I'm stopped so you press you know I'll bring it closer. So then guys that's the job done. Don't mind that right now, that's because of the I pulled out when I was finished before pressing stop. Now you press stop. So you can see applied for the last bit of this field, covered 1.47 acres. Applied 1.67 acres, I think that means fertilizer applied, as far as I know. And then you have your parallel lines, obviously, with that on. So then you can finish job and you can save job. And I think if I go into my, you can see my save jobs. There's a way of doing that. Here we are. So. Um, these are my jobs here, so we have 5 acres, 5.696 acres, and 4.45 acres, and then the next job. So, yeah, GPS, like I said, never thought I'd be the one to have one or look into it. I never even looked into it, but... I will put the link in the description of these guys because they're really great lads and like I said, if I can use it, anyone can use it. I might be totally perfect but I haven't done a lot with it, I've only done three fields with it, this be my third. So the last two fields were way more laid out, this field, I kind of had a bit of trouble getting it reconnected but that's my own fault being honest. Uh, I wouldn't blame that on the system but yeah guys look it really works well for me not too big a part of the tractor it's also he said going to be used for, for mowing to get the center of a field you might never use it I don't know but he said it's handy for that as well so maybe I'll look into it like that as well but guys that's it that's tractor GPS system I want to do this video in a while just to, number one to thanks the lads for bringing it up to me to try out for a while 
I uh, really appreciate that. Um, it's nice to get something like that, like this to try out because I probably wouldn't have tried it only for them contacting me. So big thanks to the guys and I hope I've done it justice. I probably haven't, but like I said, it is easy to use. I'm just kind of trying to show my experience with it and I'm trying to show everyone how easy it is to use because it is easy to use and simple. It's only a receiver on the top of the cab comes in there's a wire here it's, i have to tie it up more coming down to the receiver box here that's obviously into power connects then via bluetooth to your tablet it's very simple it's not and it's not expensive this is not it's not totally expensive the trouble with the gps over the years you go into your main dealer and they're they're a small fortune where this isn't uh, oh, sorry a fortune this isn't too expensive the average farmer can buy it not too bad and if you can save a bit of fertilizer by doing it more accurately then it sure isn't that great anyway over a couple of fields you might even pay for itself i don't know it, depending depending on your situation guys that's the end of the video hope you enjoyed that bit um like i said thanks to the guys at gypsy tractor guidance systems i think that's right uh, I will do more with this. This is a teaser what I'm going to do, but I will do more videos on it. It's just for now. So thanks to them, and I'll see y'all next one, guys. Thanks. Bye.